because I was in the car being ghetto. Hey guys. So, went to the game yesterday. That was fun. I left in like the end of the third. What does that mean? My camera about to die? I left early because it was a blowout. But now, I don't know if this means my camera's about to die. Now I'm about to head down to Nordstrom. You guys, I saw this girl post these Alexander Wang heels that I've been wanting for a long time. And I saw that Saks had them, but they only had them in the pink and the green. But she posted black, pink, and green. So I'm on my way to grab those. But y'all, I gave her my information, you know, to put the order through. And then I got an email for a different item. And I was like, is she trying to scam me or something? But so I'm just about to go up there and figure out what's going on. So I'll let y'all know. Hello, like, I'll let y'all know um, how that goes. I'll check in when I get there. I don't think she scammed me, y'all. I just got an email. And see, she had like, can you see this? There's the shoe and then there is the Yeezy that she like rang up accidentally. I don't know. So it looks like she just exchanged it because I'm looking at the receipt. Um, and I just got a charge of $200 on my card. So that's like the difference between the two shoes, $300. 292.16. So I'm about to go pick those up. Um, because I am I am like it's the instant gratification for me. Like once I see something, I'm just like, oh I need it, I want it. But I really have been wanting those shoes for a long time. Anyway, let me stop chatting. Okay, here is the outfit of the day. This is the running errands girl fit. Balenciaga pink slippers that I got in the Miami vlog. So that is it, and we're about to head downtown. Okay. Yo, why is the air on so loud? It's not even um, hot outside. But I, okay, so I usually drink these when I'm about to go work out, go to the gym or something. But. What I didn't tell you guys is that I'm supposed to be linking up with my mom and maybe my sister, I think my sister, to go to some event for, cause it's 4th of July weekend. So that's the only really time things in Seattle go on is when it's like a holiday. So anyway, she has sent me some flyers for some events or whatever and we're supposed to hit one up. But y'all know, oh, she just texted me. She said they're about to walk out the door. I was gonna say, y'all know, like, when you get with your family and they be like, like, first of all, I am so tired. Like, I'm just exhausted. And it could be because it's a gloomy day. Like, the sun is literally just now coming out and it's 541. Um, so it's been a gloomy day for me and I was just running errands earlier and laying down and I literally could only sleep for like 15 minutes at a time because everyone kept waking me up. My phone was just ringing, like, when I be bored sitting at home, don't nobody want to contact me, but when I'm trying to go to sleep, my phone rings every 10, 15 minutes. It was so annoying. But anyway, you know when you be tired and stuff, and then you be with your family, and they be like, what's wrong with you? Or like, when you be with your mom, she'd be like, what's wrong with you? Oh, I bet you, <laughs> I bet you if you was with your little friends, you would have energy, all that stuff. Y'all know if <laughs> comment if you if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I was like, girl, let me go ahead and drink an energy drink so I can be lively and well before I see my mother. <sighs> my perfume smells so good, you guys. This is like um this is random. I need to do a new perfume haul. I probably should pick up a perfume while I'm downtown. But this, I have on um, Le Labo. What is it? I think it's Tonka 25. It smells so good. Like, especially like when it's a brisk day outside. Uh, uh, how 
was I supposed to know that you were going? You didn't have your lights on or anything. Um, especially when a, a brisk day outside or something. Girl. Um, Maya wants to go somewhere tonight. Y'all, since when did Nordstrom put a traffic officer outside the door? I am... I'm in um, curbside, like curbside order pickup. And usually I just, if I have an order or I'm picking something up, I park right here and just run up and go grab it. Like I don't call them or anything. Um, I've done that a few times. This guy's patrolling though. So I just called and they said they're about to bring it down. Um, so hopefully it fits. I was going to try it on in the store and stuff, but. Low key, I might try it on right here. I think I should. Cause if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to return it. So. Oh. Hi. Mind if I see some ID? ID, yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Is that order for you? Thank you. Night. You too, thanks. Okay, so that was quick. Okay, but let's try these on real quick. Because if they don't fit, I'm returning them. So now I need to find a spot to go to Zara too. Ah! Here they are. This is so ghetto. I should have did a whole unboxing, but you know... We're unboxing in the car. We're unboxing in the car, okay? okay Alexander Wang. They just have plain dust bags with a little tab that says Alexander Wang. Um, yeah, we're unboxing in the car because I gotta, we gotta do, make it do what it do. This is a shoe I got. So cute. My friend Haley told me that these are comfortable. Let's see if they fit though. That's all I wanna know is that they fit. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to take these back on inside oh oh baby my let's see oh they do fit I just have to slide my foot all the way they fit yeah I think a 41 would be too big because they don't come in half sizes and I am a I'm a nine and a half 40 um 40 and designer but sometimes depending on how the designer works like I could be a 40 and a half or 41 even um but these don't come in half sizes so they seem like they fit I gotta try them on when I get home and like play around with it and stuff um or like walk in it and see but at first glance they definitely fit and I don't need to go run them back in, so that's good. That's all I needed to know. <sighs> okay. I honestly might save Zara for, yeah, I'm gonna save Zara, because I know Zara is crazy and it's a Saturday. So I'm gonna save Zara for Tuesday when I have to come into the office, because my office is downtown too. And I think I have one more order that's not here yet. So I'm gonna just do that all together. So we're off. I'm about to go meet my mother. She said she was on the way. So let's see. We're going to Pier, Pier 62. so I did not um, vlog or anything I just went straight to sleep 
I realized I didn't show you guys the shoe on my foot because I was um, the shoe that I got yesterday I didn't show you guys on my foot because I was in the car being ghetto I actually just recorded so the shoes here I actually just recorded a luxury haul with all of these shoes and some other pieces but yeah I just want to show you guys the shoe on my foot But that's pretty much it for the day. I don't think I'm going to do too much else. I need to take this makeup off. So we'll get into that later. But here's the shoe. Let me try it on. Let me show y'all what's going on. What's the tea? And you guys, I have to get a, um, a new tripod for my new vlogging camera okay so okay so here are the shoes on my feet i think they are so fire one of my toes is the like the pinky toe is kind of cut off a little bit by the rope but whatever that's just the make of the shoe i suppose um yeah they fit perfectly so you can see like yes let me zoom in so as you can see they fit literally perfect like my toe is right up at the line at the top and right up at the line at the bottom so I got a tattoo too you guys this is 1993 I got it actually almost a year ago which is crazy um but yeah that's the shoe I think they are very hot especially like with a dress or something it's giving it's giving statement but yeah I like them a lot um, I'm very happy I got them it's hot earlier I did some house shopping and I went to I went to Target and I went to CB2 um, I'm not gonna show you the stuff that I got from Target because it's kind of the stuff that I always get from Target and that I've shown on this, my channel before um yeah i'm like sifting through the bags yeah it's literally just home stuff that i just replenish from target all the time so nothing special there so here's what i got i think i said cb2 earlier but it's i went to crate and barrel here's what i got from crate and barrel they wrap everything up nicely so i got this because my friends always send me drink videos and they're like can you please do this because they really they call me a bartender because they think I make good drinks um but I'm like no I can't because I don't have the cute aesthetic way to make drinks um so I got this like to pour things and like or pour ice or something I don't know just something cutesy for like videos and I think that was like ten dollars maybe. Let me see my receipts in here. Okay, so that was that was I don't know what's what, honestly. I think that was twelve ninety five. And then I got this cute glass for like coffees and stuff very cute very cute and then I got this one to pour in my little either espressos or creamers or something you know a little one has some variation And then this I had seen in the catalog and I wanted it, but I didn't want to order it because I was like, girl, you don't need to order it. But since I was in the store, I was like, you might as well get it. You're in the store, right? Makes sense. Um, I love this. It's actually like an old fashioned glass, like for whiskey and stuff. I don't drink whiskey. I'll be putting in like cute margaritas and stuff in here. But yes, it's monogrammed. It has an S. I think it's so cute. And then lastly 
something else I didn't need um, because I have many, but I got this serving tray. I th this is so bomb. Like, look at it. It's so cute, like for cheeses and things, like a, a cheese and fruit board, charcuterie board, something like that. Um, and that serving tray was $25, $24.95. So yes, I got that. I have a serving tray already. Actually, I have like two serving trays, but they're all, they're different. So I have this wooden one, plain wooden one. And I was, I like these for like, if I'm putting, I don't know, girl. Like, I think I did like lines and stuff when I did a taco bar on these. Like, you know, something like that. And then I also have this one that I got from CB2. And this one was way more than $25. I think this one was like $60. Um, so yeah, $25, pretty good. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Crate and Barrel. I, and it's gonna expire in 15 days, so I have to do this soon. I bought the yogurt, the Lori Harvey yogurt, dark spot thing. If y'all saw it on TikTok. So yes, I bought this because I wanna try it and I've been having dark spots too, so I'm like, I'm gonna try it. So I might do this tonight. I have a trip coming up. I have a trip coming up on Sunday. So a week from now, I have a trip and I don't wanna, I don't want my face to break out. My face is very sensitive. So I'm kind of torn, like should I try this and it may help my face before the trip? Or should I leave it alone and then just do it when I come back and I don't have places to go? But also, this yogurt expires on July 15th and I'm like that. Like, I don't like wasting my stuff. And I get back on July. Oh, I get back on July 14th. Okay, so I think when I get back home, maybe I'll do it when I get back home. It's the Faye, um, the Faye purple one. I don't know. 0% milk fat. July 15th. I don't know. What should I do, guys? Should I do it today? Will it help or hinder? I hate that I'm so indecisive. But I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. If I don't do that. If I don't do that. Tonight. I'm just going to be chilling. I may record a wind down. I think I'm gonna edit all of this out of the vlog, by the way. I'm just, I just am in my thoughts. Um, and I'm really tired. If I do not do that tonight, let me go ahead and close out the vlog properly and say thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos, another vlog, giving me watch hours. I really appreciate it. Um, and just supporting me. Um, I'm on this journey and Sometimes it is, I feel defeated um, and sometimes it's overwhelming because it's like, you, my arms look really big right here, by the way, like from this angle, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, sometimes I feel defeated. Like you put all this time and energy into like making these videos and like, like for me, I don't even wear makeup like on a day to day so like i literally if i'm recording a video i get up and do my makeup i know it doesn't sound like a lot but like because yeah sometimes i'm just like oh i'm chilling at the house i should record a video but then i'm like do i really want to get up and do my makeup and put all this effort in and make this video and do all this stuff editing and all this and like probably nobody's gonna watch it not nobody because i do appreciate the views that i do get but you know it's just it's a slow grind y'all it's a it's a slow grind and when i did started my youtube it was literally last summer so it's it's a year now and i'm just only a little bit over a thousand subscribers um and i'm just now about to hit my watch hour time and it's just overwhelming sometimes like you're not it's like it's like working out but you're not seeing your results 
like you know if you keep at it and you keep doing it and you keep being consistent you know that eventually you're going to see the results um because you don't just it doesn't just happen overnight you know like it takes time it's the consistency that gives you the results it's not the one time like so that same with youtube like it's i have videos that do really good so it's it's just not the one video that's going to get me to where i want to go like one of my one of my recent videos one of my videos on my channel literally has 18,000 views and that is like that's the highest video that's the highest amount of views that i've ever got in and it's just like when I think about it, it's like mind boggling, like, oh, my gosh, like 18,000 people watch this. Like, that is crazy to me. And I got a lot of positivity, a lot of positive feedback and a lot of likes on it and stuff. So there's times like that. But it's just like my channel is still not growing. So it's just it's really, really, really about the consistency. That's why I say it's just like working out like you can have a great workout and see nothing. Um but you know you kind of feel defeated when you keep going and going and going and going and going and seeing nothing and that's kind of how i feel sometimes with the videos like i kind of feel defeated when i keep producing 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 and i'm not seeing anything so i don't know where this rant was getting me but anyway <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and jump off now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.